What's up guys, the Alto Gaming here, here to record another video, and this time I'll be talking to you about another review for a video game that I really like. It was one of my all-time favorite first-person shooter games, and that will be Killzone 2. Now, this game is developed by Guerrilla Games. They're also responsible for making the Red Faction games. Um, this game was, was released in 2009 on the PlayStation 3 only, and this game takes place right after the events of Killzone and Killzone Liberations. And then without further ado, let's talk about the uh, gameplay. It is currently running on the in-house engine. Now the gameplay for Killzone 2 is entirely from a first-person perspective. Um, also it features lean and peak cover system which allows the players to take, co uh, take cover behind an object and then pop out of, uh, out of fire the enemies. Lean and peak mechanics stays in first-person view at all times. It's also possible for the player to... Uh, pilot vehicles at two points in the game, a tank and an exoskeleton. Uh, weapons from the previous Killzone game has returned, such as the M8, the MA2G, and the SIA 52LR. The six-axis motion controller also features is also utilized as performing certain actions, such as turning valve, arming, an explosive charge, and and sniping. And more, uh, multiplayer is first introduced in this game. There are uh, seven different classes in total, which the player can mix and match a main and sub ability according to for their playing style. And they can also switch their abilities upon death. There are 15 weapons available to the player, most of which cannot be used until the player reaches a certain level. Two of these weapons are, are certain dairy firearms, and further two weapons, the bolt gun and the flamethrower, are exclusive to the downloadable maps. So via cliffside and arc tower landing, players can choose either the ISA or the hell gas with a few gameplay differences. The character model responds differently, and the leaning pink cover systems are removed in multiplayer. Now each class levels up with experience gained from killing enemies or completing mission objectives. With enough experiences, players can unlock new weapons and skills, as well as new class each class has two badges with the primary badge selects classes and their specified skill and the secondary badge has an extra skill for the specified specified class but can be swapped to create their custom own classes now warzone plays out through dynamic matches where multiple game types are played in a single round the game modes are the the five different gaming types include assassination search and receive search and destroy body count and capture and hold Online matches can connect up to 2 to 32 players at all times. They can group into 6 squads of up to 4 players. If an online match does not have a full 32 players, computer generated labs can be also added and create bigger terms but only in unranked matches. Killzone 2 also, um, also has a feature called clan system which allows player allows players clan up to 64 players to complete for value points and in-game currency that clans to support tournaments. Players can also have the options to play in offline against bots with skirmish mode with an unranked multiplayer online, but there's no offline multiplayer mode for split player screens. Now, the story for Killzone 2 is pretty much simple. It follows the events of Killzone and Killzone Liberation and is set entirely on the planet of the Hellgun, the home of the Hellgas who invaded an interplanetary stra uh, strat strategic alliances colony. Two years after the uh, Hellgas assault with Vecta, the ISA launched an assault on the enemy's homeworld of Hellgun. The ISA goal was to capture the Hellgas leader, Vasari, and bring the Hellgas war machine to halt. Players take on the role of, of, of Sev, who is a battle-hardened veteran of the Special Fortress until the Legion al assigned to Alpha Team, who goes on a mission to take out the Hellgas threat. During the invasion of Hellgun, Sav's unit is deployed behind enemy lines to assist the main invasion force. Tasked with the secured enemy uh, capital of Pryorus, Hellgun's first true city, the team qu quickly discovers that the Hellgas are a more formidable enemy on their home planet. Not only they are well adapted to Hellgun's hostile conditions, they also harass the power of freak freakish lightning storms that always occur on Hellgun, which they then now can use against the ISA. A cold, barren, ungiving world, Hellgun provides a ray defense with thick, acidic air, dust clouds, and violent surgical lightning storms. Sev discovers his squad is not just fighting enemy forces, their first opponent made the planet be itself. And then, um, Killzone 2, characters such as Sev, also requires Corporal Dante Garza, who is a member of the ISA Special Forces Alpha Team. He is smart mouth and young. He's a loyal, optimistic, and trusty soldier who has earned his elites at close. Companion of Sev, the pair have served together in several campaigns before being picked for the Alpha. 
And Master Sergeant Rico Vasquez is a veteran of the ISA. He is a human tank who prefers to shoot first and ask questions later. If at all, he is all attitude. But despite this, he's a very good. He's very good heart. He prefers an upfront fight and is the character of extremes. He gets agitated. He gets agitated so easily, and he does not refrain from taking action during the orbital defense platform, platform crisis. Rico was left stranded by a brutal Hellgas attack and consequently befriended Templar Luger and Haka. Later, he became embedded with the Alpha team to super superhead the invasion of Hellgas capital Prius. Corporal Sean Nacto is, is the demolition expert for the ISA Special Forces Alpha Team. An experienced soldier of the same generation as Rico, Nacto made a steady rise against ISA ranks before joining the Alpha Squad. Jan Templar is the commander of the ISA fleet and cruiser New Sun protagonist of Killzone and Killzone Liberation. He leads the invasion of Helgan from the sky without actually being on the field. Uh, Vasari is the ruler of the Helgon. He is responsible for the rematerialization of the Helgon troops after their defeat following the first extra extraterrestrial war. Vasari pr previously succeeded in launching an invasion of one of the ISA's colonial planets. Vecta is avenged to what he seems as the abandoned and abuse of the Helgas. He is voiced by Brian Cox. Colonial Madel Raddick is the commander of the Hellgas Imperial Guard, Vasari's personal guard and defends the planet Hellgun. He is shown to have a desire for killing and prefers action rather than planning. Determined and ruthless, he is called the Hound of Vasari. He is voiced by British actor Sean Pertry. And then last but not least, weaponless specialty Evelyn Batten is Templar's assistant. She focuses on the technical aspects of the ISA's nuclear weapons and knows the codes for the nuclear weapon Red Dust, which has been seized by Hellgas. She joins Alpha Squad to reclaim it, one mission of the game. Now, Killzone 2 is a first-person shooter game developed by Guerrilla Games. This is also the first Killzone game developed on the PlayStation 3. This game, you guys, is absolutely gorgeous. The visuals is gorgeous. Is, uh, sorry. The visuals are are beautiful. Voice the story in this game is is phenomenal. Way better than Killzone Three. Multiplayer is a blast. Now I don't know if the servers are are still active for this game. I don't know if they're shut down. I may have to check it out for once. Um, this game is extremely bloody. I wouldn't recommend it for younger children. Um, this game is filled with strong language, violence, um, amazing music, guys. Um, um, great soundtrack. Um, Multiplayer is a blast. Again, you can choose ISA or Helga or, or Helgon. Um, Helgon's always always my favorite. I like the medic classes and the assault recon class for this game. Um, the visuals in this game is beautiful. Story wise, it'll probably take you about uh, I probably say 12, 12, 15 hours, depending on your difficulty. Um, the opening is well worth watching. If you guys don't know the story, I suggest watching the opening for this game. If you guys love open environment, first-person shooters with tons of ex exploration, amazing music, amazing visual, visual effects, uh, then I would highly recommend getting Killzone 2. Um, it's a great first-person single campaign experience. And just knowing the characters from from Sev to Vasari to, to Rico... To Garza and Evelyn and Radic and Vasari, it is definitely worth your time and money. This game is very cheap. I would highly recommend this game. Um, overall, I give Killzone 2 a good nine out of ten. It is one of the best first-person shooters I've ever played. It's my all-time favorite. PlayStation 3 exclusive. I definitely want to get Killzone 3. Anxious to know when Killzone Shadow Fall is going to be released. I know it's going to be on PlayStation 4, which kind of sucks. But the visuals in that game is beautiful. I will be on, look, on the lookout for buying Killzone Shadowfall. But other than wise, I give this game a 9 out of 10. It's a must-own for any fans of first-person shooter. And, it's, and this is also a must-own for PlayStation 3 fans around North America, China, Australia, Germany, Finland, South America, Argentina, Australia. Pretty much all over the world. And there you have it, you guys. It's my review for Killzone 2 for PlayStation 3. If you guys enjoyed this video, please smile. Please like this like this video, comment and subscribe. It will definitely help me a lot. And as always, I'm Nalta Man Gamer. I will talk to you guys later and be on the lookout for more videos right here on my YouTube channel. And as always, stay gaming, my friends.